Now I'd like to show you how to install Ignite UI and I'll show you what is placed on your machine once the installation is done. Now this is the platform installer for NetAdvantage Ultimate, which includes Ignite UI. So depending on what type of license you have, you may or may not see all of this. Right now I'm just checking Ignite UI and also the version utility. If I click on customize, I can choose whether or not I want just the product and help and samples and also the version utility, which will integrate in with Visual Studio. Again, if you're not doing anything with ASP.NET MVC, you don't even need to worry. As I click next, I need to make sure that I accept the license agreement and then I can choose the destination folder. As I click on next, the platform installer will begin installing all the different components of Ignite UI. Once installation is complete, you can click next and you have the final screen where you have the opportunity to send feedback back to Infragistics. Now let's take a look at where things are installed on the computer. Once installed, the files for Ignite UI are found under Program Files, Infragistics, and then Ignite UI and the version that you've installed. Now there's a number of different folders and files here within uh, the root, and so I'll show you what each one is about. The readme.txt file has some helpful hints on getting started depending on the type of development that you'll be doing. So if you're getting started with JavaScript and CSS, then there's some step-by-step -step instructions showing you which files you need to copy and how to set up your page for the correct links to resources. So if you'd like to use the Infragistics theme, get the structure CSS in your page, CDN locations for jQuery, jQuery UI Modernizer, and Ignite UI as well. So this is the markup that you'll need if you're not using the script loader, but if you're going to use the loader, then here's some code that will get you off and running using the loader itself. So that's the readme file. There's a number of getting started demos that are available to you. So for instance, if you come in here and go to grid, take a look at JSON binding, you can find demos that run right from the file system that show you how to get started with each one of the controls. Going back to the root, there's a folder for help, and this is where you have availability of the offline documentation for Ignite UI. If your license includes source code, then you'll have the source code available in a zip file. Then you also have the production JavaScript files for the desktop controls and also the mobile controls available directly off the root there as well. The CSS classes that are needed for the desktop files are up here. And if you're using the ASP.NET MVC extensions, you can find them in the MVC folder. And then depending on the version that you need, each are available within this folder. So there you have it. It's an overview on getting started with the fundamentals of Ignite UI. Make sure to check out Infragistics on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. And if you want more information about Ignite UI, you can go to IgniteUI.com.